Hi everybody, I'm Christian. This is Lazy Devs, the channel Lazy Devs Academy, and welcome to my first big tutorial on how to make a game from scratch. A video game from zero to completely finished without having any skill whatsoever. If you look at the length of this tutorial series of this playlist, you will see that we are about to embark on an epic journey of 75 episodes and about 48 hours or so. 48 hours seems like a lot of stuff, but don't go just yet. It's I'm gonna begin at the very very fundamentals. And if you think about it, 48 hours, that's kind of like how much you need to complete uh, Assassin's Creed Origins with all of the extras I checked. So you can either, you know, play this video game for 48 hours or actually learn an important skill of how to make your own video game from scratch. Or you can do both. Why not? It's not an exclusionary thing. So yeah, it seems maybe like a lot, lot of time, but actually at the end you will be able to make your own games. And also keep in mind that although this entire this entire tutorial is 75 episodes long or so, at episode 8 we will already have a Pong. We have remade the classic Pong on our own. 8, the episode 8 from 75. At around episode 11 we will already have all of the basics of the game breakout done. It's gonna be finished in terms of basic mechanics and then we're gonna spend the next 60 episodes or so, you know, adding stuff like power-ups, particles, menus, high score lists, stuff like that. It's, that seems like it's kind of like tangential, but actually turns out to be quite time consuming. So anyways, for this tutorial, we will be using the programming language Lua and the programming environment Pico8. If you have never heard about Pico8 before, it's great. It's awesome. It is this engine. It's kind of like an emulator for a console that didn't exist, that never existed. It's kind of like an, an fantasy uh, NES, so to speak. So you can make very simple games that look like old NES games with it and you can play them as well. Everything that you need to make games is contained in Pico8. It, it can play games, but it gives you also all the tools that allow you to program games, make the graphics for those games and make even the music for those games. So that's why Pico8 is a really great, really great starting point to start writing your own games. And then of course, once you get something done that is uh, nice looking in Pico8, you can also think about going to more complex stuff, perhaps even Unity. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's make our breakout hero from scratch. See you in the next episode. 